Fort Clarksville police officers are injured. They were shot during a standoff last night. We had this as breaking news all day yesterday. The TBI says two brothers barricaded themselves inside a unit at the Paddock Place Apartments. They took in a hostage. After 12 hours of negotiations, police broke into that apartment. That is when they shot and killed those brothers. Tonight, the TBI is investigating this shooting, and this all started when police tried to arrest the brothers. Our Marissa Sulik looked into why some who live there were evacuated while others were not. As Clarksville police surrounded this apartment building at Paddock Place last night, some people were restricted from coming home, like Shelby Moore. I was trying to get them to at least go check on my dogs, which now seeing how close the crime scene was, I completely understand. But today she looked at her camera footage from outside her apartment and saw neighbors last night were still inside theirs. It really pissed me off when the cops told me I couldn't go home and they were still opening and closing their door. They couldn't find them at the moment, so they gave us the okay that we could go back inside, so we all went back inside. Darren Henderson lives in the apartment below where the brothers and officers shot at each other. His family was nearly hit. Somewhere in that exchange, that's when the bullet holes went through our living room. We wanted to know why some people were restricted from their homes for hours, while others like Henderson were not. Would you have anything about the protocol, though, about like why there were people still inside when this took place? We asked Clarksville police that question. They deferred us to the TBI, who deferred back to police in this email to us. When we told police that, they responded saying it was safer to keep some folks in place than to try and move them. However, they couldn't give me a clear answer at that moment. But moments are all Henderson and his family had last night. First, they were telling us to hold, uh, hold on, stay put. Just cover your stuff with furniture. In Clarksville, Marissa Sulek, WSMV4. Right now, the TBI is handling this investigation. Once they are done, they'll turn it over to the district attorney. He will decide if the police shooting was justified. Also tonight, we're learning more about the brothers at the center of the shootout and their ties to the Clarksville area. Both Leonard and Brandon Green have lengthy criminal histories, some dating back to 2010. Yeah, we got their mug shots from previous incidents. Brandon is the younger brother on your right, Leonard. On your left, Brandon was charged in the past for stalking and evading arrest after a hit and run back in 2019. Lyndon was arrested and charged in separate incidents with domestic assault and burglary. We've asked police for the names of the four officers shot in this standoff. We are still waiting for their response.